Hey there guys, I'm Cody Mayo, and this is Cigar TV. And on today's episode of Cigar TV, I am doing another review over a cigar. Uh, this one is called Free Cuba. The cigar itself isn't too bad, but there are some issues to it. Uh, but I'll get to that here in a few minutes. So, first thing is Free uh, Free Cuba is a Connecticut cut wrapped cigar. It has Cuban seed uh, long filler tobaccos inside of it. And it is a medium bodied cigar. It's more so a mellow to medium body. So it's in between those two spots. Now, this is a Church Hill link cigar. Uh, it's not bad, especially for how much uh, you pay for it. And you can get a bundle of them for about uh, $47. And uh, you get about 20 to 24 cigars in each bundle that you get. Now, the cigar itself is pretty light, uh, burns a little unevenly. If you don't uh, try to constantly keep it lit, it will eventually just go out pretty fast. So you kind of have to keep puffing on it, which isn't too bad, I guess. But at the same time, you know, you like to be able to set down your cigar. And like let it rest for a little bit and not have it be uh, needing to be relit every time you pick it back up. So, yeah. Now, something that I've noticed since I've got this. A uh, bundle of cigars is that whenever I got it, it wasn't really dry, but at the same time, it wasn't uh, humidified too much either. And uh, after smoking one of them when I first got them compared to now, the jaw is a little bit different just from being humidified a little bit better but also uh, when I didn't have them more properly humidified it kinda had a very stiff draw through the cigar itself and uh, that just kinda made it in, like an unpleasant cigar to smoke at the time <laughs> you know it's not too bad of a cigar. The wrapper is nice. It's a nicely wrapped cigar. Uh, on some of them that I have had, rather it be still not humidified or compared to now where it is humidified, some of them have still been a little uh, stiff on the jaw. That and you know, you don't jump into like a cheap cigar brain thinking that it's going to be one of the best cigars I've ever smoked. You also don't jump into it thinking that it's going to be one of the worst cigars I ever smoked because you can never tell. Now, when I got these, I was thinking, okay, another good cheap bundle cigars brand that I can smoke on, you know, when I don't have the money to get a more well-known name brand cigar but you know I'm not too picky when it comes to uh, smoking my bargain uh, brand cigars either now let's get on to the flavors of these cigars and uh, see where we uh, what we got for uh, flavor wise at least
Yeah, see, right then it was trying to go out on me. So, like I said, you have to kind of keep puffing at it so it stays lit. Now, uh, there's some uh, bitter tastes to it. It's not going to be overwhelming, but you can kind of get that same flavor throughout the whole cigar. So, if you're not a big fan of bitterness, it may not be the type of cigar that you want. Also, I think I detect a taste of wheat and uh, hay. Yeah, that's about all I'm really getting off this cigar. The wheat and hay flavors, it, that's going to be a little bit more noticeable uh, the farther in you get. But throughout the whole cigar, the one thing that you will notice is the, uh, the slight bitterness, uh, that slight bitter taste to it. Uh, that's something you will be able to tell throughout the whole cigar. Now... Onto the band around the cigar. It's pretty much a white band with some uh, I guess designs on it. I you know what I mean. Designs on the wrapper. You got free Cuba there. It's presented kind of boldly with the blue background around the letters. The letters themselves are white. And on the band also there is a picture of a woman. And pretty much that's the whole band itself. Now, uh, so like I said, the cigars came in a bundle. So there wasn't actually a package. But I'm going to show you a bigger version of of that cigar band because the cigars when they come in the bundle itself it comes in a uh, the cellophane wrapped around the cigars inside of the cellophane is the bigger uh, band holding the cigars together if that makes sense but since that cellophane was just all loose after opening it I put it in one of my jars that I keep around to turn into small humidors. So yeah. You got the bigger picture there. You can see the graphics a bit better. Especially on the back side here. You can tell that it says Free Cuba all along the back side. Uh, sorry for the light. It kind of makes it hard to see the designs on it but as I slowly turn it around you can get a better grasp on the whole design and artwork of the cigar band itself and something interesting on the bigger band here is that you can tell the blue around the letters isn't as pronounced as they are on the band and the letters on the bigger band is in gold uh, coloring instead of the white coloring on the smaller band around the cigars. <clears throat> so, like I said, it comes in a bundle of about 20 24 and you pay about $45, $47 for the whole bundle. 
me personally, although it's not a bad cigar, I don't think it's a very flavorful cigar in a retrospect, uh, given the whole way that it's set up. Being a Connecticut cut wrap cigar, you're not really going to get too much power. And uh, for someone like me, who is a more of a powerhouse smoker, I like my cigars to have more depth and more oomph to the punch that they give out. So, if you are a beginner cigar smoker, uh, Free Cuba would probably be one of the better cigars to go with, just because it's not a very strong cigar, and it could be a good stepping stone to uh, build up on your journey of cigar smoking. Uh, if you are a powerhouse smoker like I am, you're not going to find really any enjoyment out of smoking it. And for instance, if you wake up early in the morning and you don't want to start off with a strong cigar, then it would be perfect for that. If you need a cheap cigar that you can hand out to your friends and buddies that Say that they do like smoking cigars, but at the same time, you know, deep down in your heart that they're just saying that and they probably really don't smoke cigars that often, and they're going to probably waste most the uh, cigar itself, because they're only going to probably smoke probably about that much of the cigar anyways, then it'd be perfect for that too. I don't think it's a cigar that is worth uh, stocking up on, especially if you know the types of cigars you like and you want better quality uh, cigars to be smoking on. But if you don't mind giving out cigars to your friends and buddies that you know that don't really smoke cigars that often, and this would be the cigar to uh, give out to them just because you're not going to feel bad if they throw the cigar away because you didn't spend a lot of money on it. Uh, that's what I think, at least. Uh, as far as putting off smoke, it does a good job whenever it's humidified. When it's not humidified, though, you're probably going to have more problems getting a good, clean draw through the cigar. And also, it won't put off a lot of smoke. And the rate that it goes out on you, if you're not puffing on the cigar, increases by probably a couple more seconds, so a minute or two faster. It just depends. So, proper humidification... It burns better, and it draws better. But, at the same time, you have to be into the Connecticut cut uh, wrap cigars, and the more mellow cigars to probably enjoy it. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the cigar. Uh, if you like this video, and would like to see more videos like this one, uh, please hit that subscribe button, and... Hit that notification bell too so you can stay up to date on all my videos. Also, uh, if you want to ask me any questions about this cigar or give me any uh, future uh, topics for cigar brands, tricks, tips, and gadgets, leave those down in the comments section and I'll get back to you in a timely manner. Also, if you want to see what I do in my day-to-day -day life, I just want to see what I'm smoking on or get some behind-the-scenes action on Cigar TV of what I do before I make one of these videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That's CigarTV91 on Instagram. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there and stay smoky.